going guys, Sherblogs here. In this video, we're going to cover quite a big question that I usually get. How do you completely create a custom shirt for free on Roblox? Now, this is actually easier to do than you'd think. Um, I have to admit, it does take a bit of practice. You'd probably have to learn paint.net or Photoshop to be able to do this well. But in this video, I'm gonna show you guys the complete tutorial on how to create a custom shirt. I will give you guys all of the downloads to paint.net, uh, the downloads to the Roblox plugin you need and just everything you need to do in order to create a custom shirt now if you guys are playing on iPad or Android or iPhone um, it's gonna be a lot harder for you and you might have to use different apps so maybe I'll make a video for that in the future but this video is going to focus on computers so if you have like a Windows PC this video is gonna be perfect for you so we're just starting off on the Roblox website what we need to do is go to clothing and shirts and we're then just gonna go to best selling and if you just select all time we're actually going to be able to find all of the shirts which are currently free now because these are free it basically means we can fully customize them yes you can customize paid shirts as well but because in this video we're just going to pretend that we don't have premium and we don't have any robux you know just like the average roblox user we're going to create one of these things completely for free so as you can see we've got quite a few free shirts you guys want to pick one that you like the look of uh, for this video i think i'm going to go with the upgraded guitar tee as you can see this is the old version and this one is the new 2020 I guess 2019 version so maybe not that old we're going to choose this one so what you want to do is just click on it Okay, so before we actually um, get the shirt, we actually need to get a Roblox plugin called Better Roblox. This basically lets us find the original file of the shirt and download it. If you guys don't have Better Roblox, I'm gonna leave a video on how to get it in the description. You can follow it for about five minutes and get it installed. It's actually incredibly simple to set up. So after we've got better Roblox back on the Roblox website, what we want to do is actually click this icon. You're gonna see a brand new picture icon once you install the plugin with Google Chrome. So we're gonna click on this and it's gonna bring us out to the Roblox jacket. From here, all we have to do is just click the download button. Now once you click on the download button, it's actually going to download the PNG file for the shirt. Now we only need to focus on this section here and for that reason we're going to go up to the create tab and we need to go on to shirts. Now once we're on the shirts tab, we need to get the transparent template. So we're going to click on download it here. We're going to right click and click save image as and save it in our downloads folder. So just make sure you save it in your downloads folder. I'm just gonna overwrite it. And as you can see, it's then just going to download. So in our downloads folder, we are going to have two images. We're gonna have the basic template and we're gonna have the one which we downloaded, um, which is the template with the full shirt on it. Now all we need to get is paint.net, but you can also use Photoshop if you're experienced with that. Now paint.net is completely free. That is the reason why I use it. And if you guys would wanna get it, it's linked in the description. All you have to do is just click on the download section and you're gonna scroll down and just click on this image right here and it will actually bring you out to the download page. So you see where it says free download paint.net, you can just click on this and it's going to download the zip file. Now once the zip file has finished installing, um, you can actually find it in your downloads folder and you simply open it and just launch up the paint.net exe file. So here it is, the paint.net install. You just double click on this and inside you can find the exe. And all you do is simply double click on that and go through with the setup. I'm not gonna set it up because I've already got it installed, but it's very simple. You just click next a few times and make sure you install it on your computer. If you need help, you can always ask your like mum or brother or sister. It's very easy to install and pretty much anyone that knows how to install a program can install it in a few seconds. So what we're gonna do is get our pictures and we're going to open these with paint.net. But we actually need to open the um, template, which is the shirt first. So we're gonna right click this and we're gonna open it with and select paint.net. You should see it installed when you've installed the program. Now this part's important. We just need to add a new layer and then we need to go back to our downloads folder. So just go back and then we're gonna right click this and we're gonna go on copy. Then we're gonna go back to paint.net and we're just gonna press control plus V on our keyboard. So that's the keys. You're just gonna press that at the same time and then just press the enter key. Now I'm just gonna zoom in a bit and we actually need to get the cropping tool and we just need to kind of select this middle section right here and we're actually just going to delete it. So make sure just to select all of the red 
and then just press delete on your keyboard and there you go this is all we need to work with we didn't we don't need to worry about the rest of the shirt um so what i do is probably use the drop down command and then we've got the shirts like combined together and then that is pretty much it you can then work, work with this and um, this is the only part which we need to save as a t-shirt now you guys can pretty much do what you want here. You can use this tool. If you hold control of this, you can actually like start to like blur out stuff and you know kind of make it you know completely blue. Or you can use different tools. You can change the color of the guitar. It's entirely up to you. This is just you know like the customizing part, which is basically the fun part. I think what I'm gonna do on mine is completely blur the guitar out, and then I'm gonna add some kind of like another logo on top, and we can see what that ends up looking like. Who knows? Maybe that'll look good. I don't know. We can try it. Let me just go through and let me just kind of like blur this sections of this out and then we can see what that ends up looking like now as you can see it's pretty much blank i'm able to like increase the hardness here and use this like kind of like tool and we can actually you know blur it a bit more now it doesn't look amazing it's got a few like blurs on it but once we add a logo on top of this it should look pretty good keep in mind we can also use adjustments hue and saturation and you can literally change the color um, of what the shirt underneath would look like so um yeah i i guess i could make like anything really i'm thinking of making a cause t-shirt i think that might look quite cool so maybe i'll make it kind of like a blue or a white actually maybe maybe a white would look good if you want it white you can just go on black and white and it literally just put it as a gray and you can you know flip the contrast and stuff and um, but yeah you guys can literally customize this as much as you want um, yeah, I think I'm probably going to make some kind of cause t-shirt. Um, I'll, maybe I'll go on like uh, some kind of website and find a logo that I want to add. Okay, so let's say you find something that you want to add on the t-shirt. Um, what I'm actually going to do is just right click and copy it and then we can paste it into paint.net. We can crop it out and then we can put the kind of like design. I think this is a figure actually, but then we can actually just put it onto the t-shirt. So just make sure to add in a new layer and then everything you paste on top of it should be okay. So we're just gonna click on um, keep canvas size. We're then just going to make it a lot smaller, but we're gonna hold shift as we drag the corners down uh, just so it doesn't stretch it out at all. Then we're gonna use the magic wand tool and we basically just need to remove the background, remove all of these white spaces that we don't want because um, obviously they're not gonna look good on the t-shirt. So yeah, just get rid of all of the blanks and then I think that should be pretty good. We can then pretty much just select it so let's just select it like that and let's just um, put this in the middle of the shirt and then we can pretty much see what it ends up looking like and hopefully it should actually look pretty cool Okay, so here we go, guys. I actually found a better quality one on Google. Um, now, they might look a bit pixelated, but when you zoom out, um, they actually end up looking a bit better. So all we need to do now is actually select the main T-shirt bit. So if you've got two layers, make sure to combine the layers together. Then what we're going to do is get this rectangle tool, and we're simply going to draw around it and make sure we select everything. Then what we need to do is click off onto the selection arrow. We're going to press Control copy on our keyboard. We're going to go on File, New, and we're just going to click on OK. Then we're just need to paste it in here press enter and then what we're going to do is save this file as a t-shirt so go to file save as and just save it in your downloads folder so you can give it a name if you want to maybe like name it after the original so maybe just call it i don't know cause t or something like that i don't know save it whatever you want but make sure it's a png and then click on save click on ok and there you go we're now done Okay guys, so I've got three custom t-shirts right here. I will also be putting these on my Discord server if you guys would like to copy them for free. But I'm just going to upload them to Roblox and we can see what they look like. So I'm sure everyone knows how to do this, but you just go to your create tab, then go down to the t-shirt tab and then just click on choose file. And then of course, we're just going to select each shirt and we're just going to upload them one by one. Um, if Roblox stops you from uploading them, um, don't worry, you can normally do it within like an hour. Sometimes they just have some kind of like verification bot or something which kind of like glitches. But let's just confirm all of the captures. You might have to do a couple of these as well. Um, okay, apparently that's inappropriate, so let's try another one. Um, again, if you get this error, some people in my last video said um, you might get like an error. Um, wait, is it actually gonna let me upload anything? Yeah, in my previous videos about this, some people said they couldn't upload it because of the text. Literally just rename it to anything and it should work. Um, does this one work? No, what the hell? Why are my shirts inappropriate? Is Roblox broken? There you go, that should not be inappropriate. Does it work? What? Is this actually joking? Right, what, what's not inappropriate? A fish is not inappropriate. Does that work? 
please tell me this works. So yeah, you might have to give them a stupid name if Roblox like doesn't allow you to upload them, which could be a problem, but you should be able to rename them later as well. So that actually worked, that is ridiculous, but we're just gonna upload the other ones as well. Okay guys, so this should be done now. The last thing to do is just obviously take the shirt for free. I forgot to do that earlier. So make sure you've got the shirt that you made the free shirt for. Then let's go over to our avatar. Let me just go on some random package. Um, so if I just select a new package, let's just put the um, shirt on and then we're going to go into clothing and t-shirts and we can put the t-shirt on and of course we can go into skin tone as well. We can sort out our character. I can also put some free pants on while I'm at it. So let's just put these ones on, the black jeans with the white shoes, and I can also just put some hair on. If I go into hair, it's a bit glitched up, there you go. And now our free shirt should actually be working. And of course we can try all of them in this video. And as I said, I'm gonna give them away on my Discord server anyway. So there's the first one, which I changed the name to fix it. There is the cause one, which says is still loading. So the admins might take quite a long time to check them. So there you go, there's the cause one, completely custom. And there is the trash gang one as well. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it. How to completely make custom shirts the easiest and fastest way to do it. I can show you guys what these look like inside of games as well. Okay, so I'll try and find someone that's got the same shirt as me. Um, there must be someone which is wearing the guitar t-shirt. It's probably one of the most popular ones. Um, they're not wearing it. I swear there was someone wearing it at the start of the game. Let's see if we can find them. Actually, this guy could be wearing it. What's he wearing? I think he's wearing it, but he's running away from me. But I think he's on iPad, which means he's going to be lagging. So we should be able to catch up with him. And then we can take a look at his t-shirt. Let me bring out the balloon, actually, so we're a bit faster. So yeah, he is actually wearing the original version of the guitar tee. He won't stay still, um, but as you can see, it's my version is the custom one. So that is pretty much it for this video. That is how you make custom t-shirts on Roblox. If you guys enjoyed the complete um, tutorial, make sure to leave a like, leave a subscribe. I also have a Roblox star code now, and it's just shark blocks. If you guys use this while buying Robux or Roblox premium, that'd be highly appreciated. I don't tend to promote it as much as other Roblox YouTubers do, I think because it gets quite annoying. But that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.